in this video we are going to learn fast api and we should learn that why we should consider fast api instead of flask what are the benefit uh, comes with a fast api instead of using the flask so let's uh, start i will give you a little bit uh, uh, background about the fast api and why i am making this video so when i i am building uh, any api there are two things which are very important in the api one is the api documentation that you previously call that a swagger or a open ai api or a auth module so let's say that you have built a simple api and you want to test your api right so you basically use a third party tool like uh, like a postman or some kind of request application that you can test your api but this is not useful when when you are using that in a day-to-day -day basis or you are just say that you have built an api and you given this api to your client right your client don't know how to use your postman and all so for them you need a documentation where they can basically test your api and see how your api is working or you can say that they can test the all the features of your api and see what are the endpoints are there all the pretty much documentation about the api also they want a auth module in your application like they don't want a open endpoint they want that their endpoint should be secured by uh, some kind of tokenizer or something like that for that we are going to use the fast api this is also possible in the flask but the problem with the flask is that it is not by default these features are not come with the flask you have to manually use some uh, third party like uh, modules or you can write these features into that one so as you can see here i have written some of the key features like fast framework for building api why i'm calling this as a fast framework because when you going to build an api you see that you don't need to write extra code for this uh, the open api or swagger or auth module and this is very easy to learn so once we go deep into the api and and i will show you how we are going to write the code you can see that it's very easy and very like realistic way approach when it's come to building the api endpoints like say that you are building a get a get a method so and you want to pass some id or something for other like in the flask or something other what you can do basically use some of the features of the like header and from there you can either take data from the form or take data from the json data but here you can see that directly the way in the python we pass the data in a any method that you can same way you can use that one i will show you these all things once we get started this is just a first video so before starting we are going to uh, do the uh, python work first so we will create a virtual environment for this project let's start it so i have just opened this uh, uh, vs code and i'm going to create a virtual environment for that so i'm going to name this as fast api and python version i'm going to use 3. 9.6 basically you need uh, any python version more than 3.7 plus i have like i think 3.9.6 so i'm using that one it will take some time and it will create a virtual environment for us just wait for some time Um, 
it is done now we will activate that environment so as you can see it is activated now basically we need to install uh, two packages like fast api and uv corn standard this fast api is the, just a cli which is which contain all the features of the fast api framework and uni uh, uv corn standard it's a server it's a production grade server which we will use to run this fast api so let's go and install that one now again go on. i think i have spelled correctly standard now both the package are installed just go and create one python file and from here I will try to make a simple web app so as I mentioned earlier we need a server right to run this application for that I am just import uv uvcon and then what basically we need so we need one from fast api i will import fast api uh, don't bother about these swigglies so this will go away once we use this application one two times it will go away so let's let's make one app for that yeah this is just a flask way you don't have to do extra thing the same way we do in the flask application here also we have to do the same thing first we need to make a app and then we use we need to use any decorator like app dot get method so we we use this get method so like in the starting if you give so for that we can name it like read root right and we can return any JSON file for that like we can say hello yeah studio right and this is done there are so many ways we can run this application so I am running this application in this like I just give this name then main the python way and then we have to use like ubicon.run right in that when we have to pass like application app you can pass port number for now i'm just not giving any port number or not just see whether it's work or not for that why what we have to do like python and we will try to see that whether it's working or not so yeah yeah you can see that it's working so i will just copy this url paste this one and you can see like hello ai studio it's working right and what i'm saying previously is that fast api is easy right so as you can see that you can say that okay that the same way we are doing on the flask also why should you use this one right so let's say that in this one we will go and directly type docs and you can see we have a get method here right and you can try here execute right now nothing is there so it will giving you this answer so let's say and build one more method here right like at the rate app dot get we name it this test and also we will pass some value like id i will pass right yeah here 
a low name right now i will name this hello you don't have to give this name as hello you can pass anything here and you can give here just i'm giving the same the name it should match this name or name and then i am returning same result as f string i am making hello name right now let's let's see that whether this has come here or not oh it's not come so let's stop this one first and then again start now we will refresh and see one more method has come like hello in this one we will give some name like ai studio and we will run that one hello ai studio it's coming right so as you can see it's very easy to develop any kind of api in this one in the next module what i am going to do we will take simple data on post based on some that simple data we will try to do crud application if you have any question regarding the fast api you can you can just ask me on the comment section thank you